Hey guys, this is Rob Webster, aka Rob Jam Web from Waxidis Music Tutorials. Today, what I'm going to show you is a track um, largely based on Madonna's early hit, Physical Attraction, which was produced by Jellybean Benitez, um, who's the producer of that track, who I've taken inspiration from. It's kind of in the same vein as Shannon Let the Music Play um, and those early to mid 80s kind of electro funk pop hits that came out. I made this track a while ago with the um, uh, with the intention of having a vocal on top, but I never got around to doing it. So uh, I thought I'd turn it into a tutorial and show you guys how to create that kind of early mid synth, mid eighties synth sound. Um, right. So basically, the track consists of a handful of drum samples, more notably from the eight hundred eight drum machine and from the Oberheim drum machine. Uh, the drum machine, the Oberheim drum machine, is the one that's famously used by New Order for their hit Blue Monday. But um, I've just used the snare and the clap and the kick from that and then the 808 claps and the 808 uh, hi-hats. There's some synth tom samples in there as well. Um, the synths that I've used on this uh, are four premium synths. One is the Poly 6, which is that. And the other one is the FM8, which is that. And the lead line is the Pro 53. And the synth Poly is from the Jupiter 8V. So, uh, in order for you to get these sounds, you will have to um, get, obtain those synthesizers. Now then, the track is arranged as an instrumental, as I say, so there are large gaps in between uh, where the verses should have been. But um, you'll get the idea of the track, and I'll skip through it, and then you can see what, how I went about it, how I did it, and then I'll uh, explain to you the process in which to create this sort of track. So, I'll play the track, and we'll see how we get on.
so there you go you get the gist of the track um it consists of very little really um but it sounds quite full but in actual fact there's very little in there at all so first things first what i did was um i took a bass drum from the uh oberheim dx drum machine which is uh this one very straightforward and then i put um I'm going to loop it somewhere, I'm going to loop it here and then uh, I put on the um, claps from the Oberheim as well and just delayed them quite heavily but what I did was I put the 808 clap on as well as you can hear it there, just in the back but I panned them, so I panned the 808 clap to the right and the Oberheim clap to the left just so that it spaces them out. And then I just put in the snare from the Oberheim. Straightforward, raw sounding. And then just a simple, tight, close hat. Just like that. And then some toms. And just put heavy reverb on them. And again with the synth tom, which is these. But what I did with those, what I did with those uh, synth toms, if I can find them on my keyboard, I, uh, I channeled them all to an individual channel, so. But what I did was, um, I got the sound like that. And just move the modulation pitch bend wheel like that. So it went from so it went from up to down. So which was a uh, quite a simple but effective technique which I use for that. So um, so that was the basis of the beat. And then the bass line. So all the all the baseline consists of really is um, very simple uh, notation. It's all one flat note. So let's just get that up, and it goes on the A, then the F, then the G, then the E, and then to the C to the B. So it's A, F, G, E. C, B, A. Like that, and to the C, to the B, to the back again. I mean, these chords that I've taken are the exact chords of the Madonna track, Physical Attraction. I've just changed it around a bit slightly um, because, as I say, nobody owns the rights to a chord arrangement, so um, you're perfectly okay to take those chords. Right, so the bass line came in off the... Poly 6. And then what I added was a Dream Synth, which is a nice little 80s keyboard sound. It's just like a bell, it just goes. Play it in chords. Um, so the chords were just A minor, F major, G major, E minor, and then the, the C and the B at the top. Uh, you could play the cousin. Well, it won't work if you played the chords with the C, you just do the notes. Like so. So that was that, that was the lead line bit. And then I added the uh, lead line off the Pro 53, which is again flat notes mostly. It's just same chord notes. It's just that classic 80s sound.
So that was that. Um, as I say, you can see I've arranged the track in like a verse chorus type of thing, I suppose, um, until we get to this bit here, which um, takes on a whole different meaning. Uh, in terms of that, I mean, it starts to go up from the F and then to the G and then down to the E and then up to the A. So it takes on like a more of an uplifting approach. So, so. So that was that, and then there's the actual main riff, which is an absolutely brilliant little sound, which came from the Jupiter 8V, and I'll just get that up now, and it was called, it's just one of the factory settings called the JP8 number 55, and all I did was just turn on the cut, turn the cut off up a little bit, and the resonance I didn't even touch, didn't touch anything else on there, and it's just a perfect little synth sound, which is, just drop an octave, A minor, F major, G major, E minor. Perfect little sound for the 80s. And just put some simple delay on it, as you can see there. And EQ'd it slightly, put some reverb on, and away it goes. Very simple track. And then what I did was, obviously in those days, a lot of 12-inch records would have this kind of drum breakdown, if you like, where everything's programmed and it's all changed about a bit. Um, people like Arthur Baker and you know Jelly Bean and Shep Pettibone did this sort of thing. Um, I've just done a very basic one here where I've used the toms um, for the drums, where it drops here. Which is a very common sort of trait in those days. chords just to finalize it and just to close it off and then outro with the beats and the chords come back in of course at the end so that's basically the gist of it really so as I say it's very simple um, an effective way to make kind of a track that sounds full but is actually very little so if you imagine you had a vocal on top of there then it would really fill out even more so as I say take those sounds that um, I've displayed here so the poly 6 bass which is the fat line bass which is really good proper 80s sound a dream synth uh, a lead line And of course the, the poly riff. Um, and then the Oberheim drum samples and the 808 drum samples. And away you go, you've got yourself a mid 80s electro funk pop track. And that's it really so thank you very much for watching i hope that's been of some help to you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me at the social media links at the end of this video and on the information below this video on the youtube page thank you very much for watching any problems or any emails you want to ask me 
please contact me and I will get in touch with you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching and goodbye.